people are very nice. The country is very nice, they're very polite, and they welcome you as an investor. You can see our national parks uh, and uh, our very wonderful uh, uh, rivers. You can be rafting, skiing, mountaineering, biking, biking here. Our long-term goal is to show to potential investors coming from abroad that Bosnia is a place to invest. Across the Adriatic Sea from the west coast of Italy lies the country of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Tightly nestled in between Croatia and Serbia, its history is as old and wild as her deep gorges, lakes and forests. But after countless conflicts and occupations, is Bosnia and Herzegovina finally breaking out? Formerly known as Yugoslavia, Bosnia and Herzegovina endured a debilitating civil war which resulted in a 60% fall in GDP, an 80% decline in production and ended with the tragic loss of over 10,000 lives. Twenty years on, organisers of the Sarajevo Business Forum are now hoping growth and investment conditions have improved enough to attract big business from abroad. Bosna Bank International had a dream when it was established in Bosnia and Herzegovina back in 2006 is to create a platform where projects and investors should meet. So this is our seventh year in a row that we are organizing this international conference. Bosnia and Herzegovina is not anymore for a long time now a place of conflict a place of litigation. We are noticing there is big investment, increasing investment, especially from our member countries. So we are confident that this forum is playing an important role in enhancing investment in Bosnia Herzegovina. And this also reflects the uh, possibilities and also the availability of uh, projects which are attractive for investors. Renewable and sustainable energy is one area that's high on the agenda at the conference. The government already spends roughly 20% of its GDP on energy, about three times higher than in the US and EU. But high costs and a lack of legislative cohesion in government to accommodate renewable energies, such as laws governing solar power, for instance, is holding the country back. Well, legal and political uh, environment uh, in Bosnia uh, should be and must be improved. Uh, and uh, you can hear that uh, from, you know, every day from everybody, including the uh, conference today. But it's not only about the cost, it's also about uh, real life. If you would uh, like to produce only from renewables uh, uh, energy in any country in the world, uh, you wouldn't have enough energy for consumption. We want to develop all types of renewables, uh, wind, hydro, solar, everything, uh, in order to increase our share of uh, uh, and, uh, uh, renewable sources. It's very, very important. Uh, uh, the proper balance between stability and security of supply and the needs uh, to improve environmental aspect, uh, especially to reduce uh, uh, emissions, uh, to reduce CO2 and to, to improve efficiency is something what must be balanced. Our national goal by 2020 is to produce 40% of the total amount of the energy we produce from renewable energy sources. Currently it's about 33%, but for solar energy and wind power plants we have done very little. And also for energy efficiency we're also lacking, so these are the areas we'll be trying to improve on in the future. Hydroelectric facilities are a strong force in Bosnia and Herzegovina, producing over 43% of total installed capacity. However, this is overshadowed somewhat by a lack of competition in the electricity market, where customers have lacked choice and reforms have been slow. We wanted to, to, to have an open market, to have new investors. Uh, from point of uh, my company, which is now under competition, it is uh, uh, very important uh, to be aware of that. That means that we must improve our efficiency uh, to be more competitive 
to reduce our cost or maybe to improve our uh, services to our end user in order to, to keep our share of market or in, all, in order to, to, uh, to select or find some new customers in the other regions. Still, with the focus on renewables increasing, conferences like the Sarajevo Business Forum are trying to attract green investors. Traditionally, uh, there is this uh, power plants and solar energy that was always there, but now with new technologies coming in, and uh, India is a party to the new solar alliance, so we want to try to see that this extended to this Balkan region as well, where we can get into the other parts of the renewable energy, apart from the conventional sources of energy. We must prepare attractive regulatory framework which will uh, give uh, incentive for, uh, for uh, new investors to, to, to build such, such plants. We expect that uh, government and, and uh, all governments at the different levels and uh, regulatory commissions, they must adopt uh, and uh, change regulations in order to facilitate and uh, to attract new investment in renewables. When we signed the contract uh, for our thermal plant several years ago, uh, uh, environmental uh, impact uh, parameters uh, in the law in this country were much below European standards. Um, in that time, we insisted uh, equipment to be built uh, as per the European standards, although it was more, um, we paid you know, price for that, it was more expensive. Whoever is uh, investing in any sector, particularly in the energy sector, sh simply should follow European regulations. Bosnia and Herzegovina has many beautiful but old public buildings, dating back to the Ottoman era. Powering and heating these buildings has proved extremely inefficient and costly. According to the United Nations Development Programme, the building sector consumes approximately 57% of the country's total energy, compared to below 40% in EU countries. Back at the conference, the atmosphere is charged with optimistic conversations and panels talking about investment opportunities and what it could mean for a Bosnia and Herzegovina in Europe. The country formally applied for EU membership on the 15th of February 2016. In 2015, a European Commission report said that the country is back on the reform track. But challenges concerning investment and legislation still remain. During the period 92-95, uh, we were in the war and uh, after that period there are a lot of things which are changing and uh, adjusting to existing situation. So uh, at the moment uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina is uh, starting to negotiate joining in EU and uh, we need to fulfill a lot of obligations and directives from EU to be a member of this community and uh, to work on that market, which is very challenging uh, at, at the moment. Our aim and aim of our government to try to actually improve our business environment, to try to actually uh, improve knowledge of the, of the civil workers, to try to improve our laws according to EU standards. So it's, this process actually is ongoing and we believe that for the few years we will be the, actually the much better place for the investments than today. I think now is the better time than ever. Why? Because um, as a country in a transition we have uh, achieved to pass uh, over our problems which we had, especially in a compliance and legislation uh, which was not fully accordance with EU standards and now we are getting closer. Bosnia and Herzegovina made a big step for the EU candidacy in 2015 and we are just one step in front of the candidate states. But we are not very happy about the level of investments that would help Bosnia to achieve greater progress in the upcoming transitional periods. And that is the reason why we are trying to attract as much investments as we can from all sides. Whilst its economy depends heavily on energy and metals exports, agriculture in Bosnia and Herzegovina remains largely untapped. In fact, it makes up for only 7.9% of official GDP, with industry and services making up the rest. The government and domestic investors are eager for agribusiness to grow in the region and wants to develop a so-called ecosystem in Bosnia and Herzegovina markets. So we see the potential here and uh, we are uh, now completely turned to, to, to this point of, of business at the moment. We made a basis already. The most difficult part of the job is done. 
and now we are looking for potential investors in part of renewable energy, biogas plants, uh, greenhouses, orchards, production of fruit and fruit products, etc. etc. We will create something that will generate a message, that will give a message to the producers to scale up their production, to remain at their homes, to remain at their uh, rural areas because this is a land of uh, potential, of virgin land, of uh, uh, I mean, the fact that we learned uh, over the years is in some other places in Western Europe it takes many years to get to the stage that land is clean as it's clean here in Bosnia. The fact that there is so little investment in this sector means that modernizing all areas of agricultural production in Bosnia and Herzegovina is now paramount. Due to a small domestic market and roughly 50% of the country's 1.2 million hectares of land uncultivated, local farmers are struggling. Local farmers uh, in Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, and by that I mean small farmers because it is the largest amount of them, 80% of them are small, uh, our opinion is they need to rely on the big companies like we. Uh, we are willing to educate them uh, to arrange them on materials and to buy everything from them they produce. That is something which is very important to realize. If they uh, do the production by their own, it is very difficult uh, to sell the product. You can sell it on the local market, but if you are investing more serious, you will not sell it, definitely. Perhaps the biggest government drive for foreign investment featuring at the conference, aside from energy and agriculture, is tourism. And for good reason. In 2014, total contribution to GDP was just 2.5%, about £270 million, and ranked 127th out of 184 countries. The products, the touristic products in, in the Balkan countries are pretty different. Uh, and uh, that could be some kind of synergy, that, that could be some kind of very interesting mixture. I think that the area is not explored enough and we should work on that to uh, cause it to the, to, the, to the world. When you speak about foreign direct investments, uh, uh, total amount is 6 billion euro, but tourism attracts only 2% of this, of this amount. So for the last year, the revenue from tourism sector was 1 billion km. It's actually 500 million euros for the last year. Our image of b and are not so good abroad. It's not actually reflect the, 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 the right situation. So we need to promote uh, our potentials and, and our tourism destinations. A panel discussion at the conference even highlights investment in tourism-related infrastructure as a national priority. And Bosnia and Herzegovina is not without its obstacles and challenges in promoting and implementing investments on this front. Currently, actually, we have a very uh, complicated uh, administrative structure and bureaucracy in our country. Very complicated procedures, especially for the foreign investors. For example, people who come from the Schengen areas can only be here for 15 days. Then again, they have to renew it and people who have applied for visas in Bosnia, they get not more than seven or eight days, which is a little bit of challenging, uh, you know, challenging for the people who want to come here and spend some time. Because every business, every businessman comes as a tourist. He would like to explore the place as a tourist and understand the place and feel the place and then invest. The country is full of beautiful architecture, lakes, mountainous villages, and some of the cheapest skiing holiday packages you'll find. All this could prove to be a big selling point for investors. But navigating Bosnia and Herzegovina's often complicated and disjointed legal landscape can be an uphill struggle. Of course, the challenges that we face are on the bureaucratic side, on the visa side. Visas are not uh, issued, you know, as fast as they should be for investors. So this is something that the Bosnian government needs to address immediately and then, you know, do business like how they do it in the Schengen area, the European area, Western Europe. Uh, the government doesn't give a damn. They are, of course, their mouths are full of uh, support, uh, but uh, actually they don't uh, do a lot. Uh, agricultural sector and the people who are working in agricultural sector are very important for them. So these promises are made uh, right before the elections and uh, after elections are done, everything is going back to the old system. Whatever is more complicated, uh, it is less attractive for investors. Uh, bigger administration, less attractive. They have uh, ma more governments than any other country in the world, as far as I know, on all the levels. 
and that's both burden on the budget uh, and burden on the investors. And of course, they should improve that. Bosnia and Herzegovina is well known for its diverse culture and multitude of faiths. The main religions are Islam, Roman Catholicism, and Serbian Orthodox. With Bosnian Muslims making up roughly 45% of the population, one might think Islamic finance investments feature heavily in the country. We believe that uh, Islamic banking is uh, growing and interest is there. Definitely most of the investors who are coming from our member countries, they want, of course, to invest in accordance to Islamic banking. So we think this may grow gradually and the demand will increase on Islamic banking. And we think that most likely we can expect that in the coming few years. Islamic finance has struggled to develop. Bosnia and Herzegovina has just one dedicated Sharia bank, conference organizers Bosna Bank International, with a share capital of roughly 19 million pounds. Meanwhile, the country's law on banks does not recognize Sharia principles, despite BBI's heavily supportive role of Islamic finance in the capital, Sarajevo. The main investors in Bosnia and Herzegovina right now are actually Western countries like Austria, Germany, Slovenia, Italy and these countries. So actually right now the, the share of investments in Bosnia and Herzegovina from Islamic countries is very, very small. This regulatory framework does not uh, recognize Islamic banking and finance or any specifics that the Islamic banking and uh, finance actually ask for. Uh, so accordingly, uh, we, we have to say that uh, a regulatory environment in, is not uh, yet, let's say, uh, good and uh, suitable for Islamic banking and finance development. We are trying to put a network together from all of the funds we can get, but most of the investments we are getting are from the European side, and that is two-thirds of all the investments. So we are trying to get from other funds, but these ones from Europe are the most important ones. The catastrophic economic effects of the 2008 financial crash touched almost every nation on the planet. Bosnia and Herzegovina was no exception, as unemployment rose and GDP growth fell. It's still licking its wounds today, with a negative inflation rate of almost 2% in the first quarter of 2016. Foreign direct investment, therefore, is key. This region takes more time, the recovery process goes much more slowly in this region and that is why we're doing our best and trying to attract as much investment as we can, especially cheap money because we can get cheaper loans from China and other investments funds for foreign investments here. We are recognizing more businessmen and businesswomen from different parts of the world every year there are a number of operations have been uh, developed and organized among the businessmen who are participating in uh, Bosnia Herzegovina forum and this indicates that there are great opportunities we were protected by financial crisis because at the moment we were not included in the in um, investments that were made prior to the financial crisis I believe that we are set now. We still have some budgetary gaps, we still have some uh, over-governing in our country, but I believe that we have, that we have successfully exited the, the, the crisis. This year, the conference welcomes another business partner, and a potentially lucrative one at that, China. China's average growth rate of roughly 7% over the last three years has stunned most of the developed world. And despite its unpredictable economic highs and lows, is a formidable investor and a possible lifeline for Bosnia and Herzegovina's infrastructure projects. China economy last 20 years uh, was going up and up and up and they are now the strongest economy in the world. And uh, they are trying to go everywhere, not only in Bosnia. By the way, they are trying to go in every direction as well, not only in the energy sector, but in every sector. So they are like tsunami, you know, they are coming. And uh, mentioning tsunami, I think uh, the response should not be fight tsunami, but uh, like uh, a ride on tsunami, you know, like riding on the waves, they make an advantage of that in all positive sense. Uh, Dongfang is the first uh, Chinese company to construct big projects here. We already gained quite a lot of experience here. We think that uh, our long-term strategy is uh, working here. 
and also to set up our service center here. From several years ago, we are looking at the market here that is in Europe because we already have a very successful network in the Southeast Asia that is in the Middle East. Now we are thinking that is to upgrade our services that is to the European market. Attracting foreign investment has not been easy for Bosnia and Herzegovina. Since its brutal civil war ended in 1995, the country has struggled to correct a number of problems, from government infrastructure and legislation to transparency and corruption. But with representatives from countries like China in full force at the conference, is this now changing? When we came uh, three years back, we had apprehension from a lot of Indian investors saying that, well, that's a war-prone area, how come? Even we had the same feeling when we came here, but once we came, we experienced that it is not so. This is an old story which was 20 years back, and now things are all improved and things are looking going for a change. Some of these things which we've done in the past were not economical, they were purely of social manner. It means uh, that in this period we are adjusting uh, to EU legislation, directives, fulfilling some obligations and uh, trying to uh, behave as a country in which nothing happened in the in, uh, last period. Yesterday we met His Excellency, uh, cha uh, the chairman of the presidency of Herzegovina. We have talked together how to make the good relation in the life sectors of agriculture, tourism, and this serial. It will be beneficial for both sides to, to, to have a good relation and at the same time, we face the same political and economic problems in the past. I travel a lot here and uh, we have a very good partner here. And uh, I think I'm, I'm very enjoying the environment here. That is uh, the, the beautiful scenery, the friendly people here. And also we have a thousand of people from Dongfang that working for our project here, working for our client in Bosnia. Bosnia and Herzegovina has the potential to be an attractive country for investors. It has resources that have not been fully explored, a diverse population and attractive locations for tourism. However, irregularities still dog the investment landscape and rushed reforms are likely as it pushes for a place in the EU ranks. But conferences like the Sarajevo Business Forum seem essential if the country is to unlock its full potential. The fact is that uh, if you build something valuable, the recognition will come. The, the, it, will get, uh, it will get to the stage where it's going to be obvious that, is, uh, that something needs nurturing, that something needs investment, and this is going to create a win-win uh, situation for everybody. Yeah.